are you, Art? Good, good to see you again. Nice to see you. Um, I think the last time we talked, you only had one JD Powers quality, initial quality number one. That's now right. you have two. How about that? <laughs> A repeat. So, really good job, huh? Yeah, but, we're um, really excited. And, we, and uh, the thing that was uh, interesting is the last time we were together, we were on Nero. Yeah. And that was one of our winners. A brand new car with all new technology and that one IQS award, which was, and, uh, and the Cadenza also, which yeah. is also new. Which goes to re reiterate the, the thing that Kia has like not only become the number one in initial quality, but it's like everything that you come out with, it's like really, really number one. And this is another example. And this is your base car, but you couldn't if you didn't wouldn't tell us. Some people think it's like a almost a luxury car. Well, this one in particular. And this is a trend that we have across all of our vehicles. We're really trying to put vehicles out there that feel like they're a class above. And we really feel that this car represents a new step in B car because it's so nice. Yeah. For the price point, it really is a nice everyday drivable car with great technology, a great fuel economy, and really nice quality. I mean, just look at this. It's a, it's a I know, it's car. a beautiful car. This is the top of the line. It's a, a launch edition, right? So this is going to be a limited edition. Yeah, it'll be for the first year. We'll uh, probably continue it on to other models, but maybe change the name. It's got a really beautiful interior. And Uvo 3 is 7-inch screen technology that uses Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. We have uh, autonomous emergency braking, four collision warning, and then just this really, really nice interior and a really, really smooth, quiet, stu sturdy ride. As we, as you can see now, like, I mean, we're in like, pretty good roads here around Baltimore. But still, I mean, if you were in other car at this same level of, uh, especially pricing, yep. I mean, you would probably would you feel a lot more of uh, vibration or exterior noise or something like that. Well, we we picked this route away from town to really drive home one point is this car. Not only is it good in the city, you can take this on a long distance trip, which for other cars in this category is not a pleasant experience. Yeah, you have to saw at the wheel. They're darty. They're noisy and kind of twitchy. We fixed all that with this car, and we're really really. And also, I guess you have taken a lot of the experience that you have gotten in Europe because this is your number one uh, sales car. Well, around the world, but in Europe, in, this is in also, Europe right? particular. So for us, the lead market in developing this car was European uh, market, which means it's a much higher standard than some yeah. of the competition, which looks at uh, emerging markets like China and India. But you know, it's low cost with mm -hmm. the cheapest seats. We didn't. We focused on Europe. Uh, and the payoff is just a tremendous little B car. I understand that you have uh, really carefully selected the equipment and the powertrain to be pretty easy for the for the it's, consumers it's to, to, very to pick, straight, right? It's very straightforward. We uh, we're going to go to market with uh, three three trim levels, three great strategies: uh, base LX, uh, S in the middle, and the X at the top, uh, and no options. I mean, it's just very very straightforward. Uh, we'll have, we'll have uh, one option, which is the uh, launch edition, uh, and we wanted to keep it really, really straightforward. Uh, with our base price on our base base model, we developed a new spec, uh, a model that's even lower than the current car, because there's buyers who want nothing on it, yeah. all the way up to this vehicle that we're driving here with all of the latest technology. Uh, what's the base price for this? I know you haven't finalized your uh, all, all the sure. pricing for um, all the models, but our what's base, a... Our base price on our manual transmission uh, sedan model is $13,990, so under $14,000 for a brand new car with all that stuff. Yeah. It's amazing. And then uh, the automatic is a thousand more. Uh, the five door is another 300. So it's a, a really, really simple lineup. Three different options, uh, eight colors, and it's uh, real simple. And I think this is what people are looking for. You know, a lot of times they look for a car, they go to the dealership, they can't find what they want. And you know, it, this- Yeah, too this, many combinations. So that's exactly gets, it. Gets, gets we just want to keep it really, really simple. And this is what our dealers ask for. Uh, and this has a very important role for us. It's the entry level buyer, someone who, maybe this is their first new car after 10, 15 yeah. used cars. The people will be surprised what they yeah. can get. I mean, again, if we haven't finalized the pricing, but let's say around 20, you're gonna get a car that has like- Very nice. Tons of uh, technology that like, as you said, five, 10 years ago, maybe they would like only dream of in a high-end luxury car. And you know, for a lot of people, and we made this point earlier, today that um, they don't want a big car. They don't want a mid-sized car. It's just too much car. Yeah. Uh, they, maybe they live in a big city. Uh, we're in Baltimore where the streets are narrow and there's a lot of street parking. Or they just prefer the uh, the pleasure of having a smaller car. This one fits that bill and you can get a lot of equipment on it and it's still very, very nice.
nice. And also very utilitarian because those seats can fall down and they you can get like around 50, yep. 50 cubic feet or something like That's that. That's right, completely flat load floor. Uh, we don't have any kind of suspension intrusion. We don't have these big towers in the back where it's narrow. Uh, we've improved this width of the opening and also the height. Uh, there's a spare tire standard on this vehicle, which uh, you don't get on a lot of other cars. So it, it has a lot of equipment available if you want. Uh, you can get a very, very basic model if you want. We have only the three different versions. So, well, we're really excited to have it in the market. So another great example of why Kia has been number one at, above Porsche, Lexus, it's BMW. A, it's amazing. It's incredible. I mean, you, you tell people that and they're like, how much did you pay to make that happen? I'm like, exactly. it's not. <laughs> no, it's, it's a consumer. They, it's, it's, they, do the, they do the analysis themselves. They do their own research and came to this conclusion. And uh, I think it's taken a lot of people by surprise, and it really shows that we're concentrated on safety and quality and convenience, and just building a really, really nice car. From the basic level to all the way all to the, the way top, to the which top. is pretty amazing. And, uh, yeah. You know, we have the Stinger coming out later. Oh, uh, I can't wait to drive that. That's going to be an amazing yeah. experience. And there was, uh, you know, the, a lot of work was done on the uh, the, the drive and, and the handling, so it drives as great as it looks. And uh, at the other end of the scale, we have the Rio. So yeah. And the final on. point uh, for me, at least, is like, uh, I mean, your quality standard is like worldwide, and these cars built in Mexico is as good as. The ones that you build in Korea it's, or the, the it, ones you build in here in the U.S. A, and everything, It's right? a brand new plant with the latest technology. Uh, we use uh, a lot of advanced high-strength steel for safety. We, I mentioned automatic braking and it's built with all of the latest safety standards in place. So it's a really, really safe uh, car with the latest technology and uh, brand new plant, brand new design uh, and uh, the best we can do. Excellent. So um, I hope that, uh, I mean, I, I want to talk to you before the whole year goes by, but uh, I, I hope that like in, in, in a year we can celebrate three years. I love it. Uh, we're <laughs> Number working, one. We're working hard on it, and it's not because it's a fluke. It's because we've been working on yeah, this. Yeah, because you're working hard. And yeah. you know, for the, the what's what's unknown is that, uh, or not widely known is that uh, we were number two and number three for the previous years we led, led up to it so it wasn't just a one-shot exactly deal. and it's, yeah. it's built it's in up, yeah. and it's part of our systems and the processes inside the company to make sure that it's uh, repeatable and uh, we're really excited about it excellent let's uh thanks for your time for that. thank you as, ever, as always and we're going to stop here and have some lunch after this long drive Sounds from Baltimore. thank you thank you